Move over, Tuggy. There's a new ship in town. Commemorating Hess Corporation's 90th anniversary is the 2023 Collector's Edition Ocean Explorer Boat and Helicopter. And I know the first question on everyone's mind, does it float? Well, stick around to find out. Let's begin. All right, here is what you get in the package. You're gonna get the shipping container, which they've perfected. Yours may or may not come with green wrapping paper. This is the box. Okay, pretty standard for the collector's editions. Okay, it uh, opens up. And this time there's no extra card. They just put the, uh, the thank you basically on the box itself. Here's our little uh, watery display. Some packaging materials. The screws that hold it in on the bottom. The battery card. Uh, battery uh, protectors and then of course you have the helicopter and the ship itself. Now let's talk about some pros. It's nice as far as scale goes that it fits within a four shelf display case unlike the cargo plane. The two searchlights are really bright and rotate about 90 degrees. The hydraulic lift sound when raising or lowering the flight deck is effectively reused here. You know, after 2014, the box art removed any pictures of gas stations or, well, anything actually. It just became blank. So I'd like to commend Hess for finally giving us a new visual, this time of a offshore drilling platform, which I guess really is their new image. And I do believe uh, that this is a picture of the Tubular Bells offshore production platform. There are some cons for $60. I would have expected the uh, Tubula Bells platform, okay? That's what I would have expected for $60. Now this, my friends, this is a platform, okay? This is me having fun, but you know what? For $60, I would have expected the platform, not just the boat, okay? And just for reference for you guys watching, that right there is not the Voyager, it's actually the North Dakota because, well, it's just a lot bigger and cooler and more details. So no sacrilege here for the purpose of, of making these pictures look really cool and somewhat size comparison, because if you go by the standard 18 inches of the original Voyager boat, it's nowhere in size comparison to the Ocean Explorer, okay? As we could see here, this is part of a complete balanced collection, boat, ship, platform, helicopters, and oil drums all sold separately. I've been a little critical on this review, and uh, I wanted to uh, well let it simmer a bit and come back to this um, to it. So let's 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 take a look at this again, real quick. Helicopter. It's got lights and it's got the little turbo boosters, and the thing goes fast and actually has a little bit of torque to it. Like it's uh, this is probably the best helicopter that uh, has has uh, has made to date. Honestly, it is. It is just a really good helicopter. It is weird that there's uh, nothing on the bottom, like literally nothing, not even the year, because they've done that in the past. Somebody went really overboard and, and went, you know what this thing needs? More Hess logos. I mean, we've got, I mean, I, you could see that, right? <laughs> you got the tail fin, the tails, the rear. I mean, Jesus. I'm surprised, you know what they could have done with these little white lights here? What they could have done is, uh, I'm surprised they didn't have like a little uh, Hess beam that makes it a uh, little Hess on the uh, on the ground. Anyway, so the helicopter is wonderful, beautiful. Now let's talk about the uh, the boat. Oh, by the way, does it float? You want to know if it floats? Well, guess what? It looks nice. Like I, 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 the only thing I just don't feel this is a collector's edition. Okay, I understand the theory behind it. Like, oh, we're gonna give the collectors a boat because that's what collector's edition is for. It's just missing some fine details, okay? First of all, I I'm really upset that they, they don't have the ground effect lighting, okay? I, I thought that was something that set the collector's edition uh, apart from everybody else. I get it, this goes really flat against the ground, but I really thought that that was something that was, uh, I really thought that that, that was something that was, uh, that, that, that was unique. 
the uh, the lights. I mean, I know it's a toy, but um, you know, you have you have the you have the green lights on this side, and you also have the green lights on that side. If they would have done it the correct way, you know, with port and and starboard uh, lighting uh, in the you know in the correct uh, nautical uh, specifications, it would have just added detail. The the again the uh, the molded propellers, you know. I want. I still want to know what these two what these two dots are. The um, the ship on the outside. I, I mean, it it, it it looks really good. Really looks like an ocean explorer. You know, the uh, the little painted embossment of the anchor and the and the little side propeller here. Again. You know, okay, like, all right. It adds some detail, but it, it, the fact that it's just painted embossment, if that's the case, why didn't they paint these? You know, it's like, wh wh how did you not paint those? You painted those. You have the Hess logo lit here. You have part of the Hess in the streamline, Hess in the words, and Hess in the little logo box. That's beautifully done. I didn't. I mean, I guess you had to have a lighted logo. Is that part of the requirements, right? And then the, the fr from the side, this looks a little weird, but I get it. From the front, again, there must be some kind of rules that Hess says we have to have Hess logos on the front. The two little logos here, I think they could have raised this a little bit forward. Um, that way you would see it more from the front. You didn't need these, whatever. It's probably just... Uh, taken off of this light anyway with a little uh, reflector, fine. You know, it has a nice little swoop to it. That's great, it does look sexy. It's got some sexiness to it, that's always cool. You know, a little radar thing here that moves. Um, I, I've said it before, it's got a little wheelhouse in here. You could hardly tell though. I'm, I'm not sure why they didn't just add some detail, but like a little bit to that back wall. It does have, you, you could hardly, hardly see it. I'm gonna include a picture. You can uh, really get in there and there's a little embossed wheel on the plastic, whatever. It could, could you have painted it? I mean, I don't know. I'm just, why are you hiding that? And then of course you have your sounds. As, as far as a collector's edition, man, 60 bucks, I, it's not gonna stop you from getting one, let's be honest. Is it gonna stop me from buying two or three of them? Oh yeah, absolutely, I can't afford that. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're talking 200 bucks now. For, for three of them, yeah, that's, that's just not gonna happen. Now, on the flip side, that actually might help a lot of people because um, if they're making a very, 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 very short amount, that means that they may, uh, have enough for everybody and it won't sell out in another 30 hours but i just had to keep i just had to keep coming back to this because i want to be as fair as possible and you know ultimately like i said it's not going to stop you from getting one okay you, you, you got to get one that's that's a given we know that so yeah i mean ultimately get one of course just one maybe i don't know why does it cost so much why you know what i guess the ultimate you could have done better, okay? You could have done better. Not like anybody ever asks me my opinions, but you know, you could have done better, all right? But uh, will it will it hold up in the collection? Yes. Does it fit in a case? Yes. Does the helicopter, I, mean, <laughs> I love the helicopter more than I love the ship. It just locks in place really good. And Michael, you ask, will it float? Do not try this at home. I'm a trained professional, taking this risk so you don't have to. Please, live vicariously through me. Finally, to answer that all-important question, does it float? Now, keep in mind there's at least 16 spots where water can get in from the bottom, which is why instead of covering everything up with tape, yeah, I just decided to try a sealed bag. So the answer is, does it float? Guess what? Yes, yes it does. It actually does float. W covered up, of course, just like the original Voyager. Again, still don't do it. And the original Voyager, while it did float, it, it kind of started to damage the insides because it used batteries as the ballast and all that stuff. The answer to the question is, does it float? Yes, it does. However, the helicopter still does not fly.